Did you ever notice that while listening to your colonial grandfather clock one day, you heard this? That's the perfect example of a clock's ticking being out of beat. Or not so perfect, depending on your point of view. The very same experience happened with this clock recently, and I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process of getting the ticking of your colonial grandfather clock back in beat. Using latex gloves or something of similar quality is recommended, as you'll be accessing the clock's movement. First of all, if your clock has a removable head, turn the wing catches on the back and gently slide the head forward, as indicated in the example shown here. Once that step is complete, carefully unscrew the nut from the clock hands and put it in a safe place. Next, remove the minute hand, followed by the hour hand. Using a screwdriver, remove the four screws holding the clock face to the clock and put them in a safe place. Then, remove the clock face. You should now be able to access the movement. Listen to the ticking on your colonial grandfather clock. The ticking should be in beat and rhythmic. If it isn't, that means the ticking is out of adjustment, meaning that there will be shorter and longer pauses. If the ticking is too much out of beat, the clock will eventually stop. If it is stopped, gently swing the pendulum back and forth to get the clock going again. Pay close attention to the direction the pendulum moves at the beginning of the longer pause. The part you will need to adjust here is called the pendulum leader. Using a pencil or your finger, gently push the pendulum leader in the direction of the longer pause. As you do, you'll feel the leader move and then stop. This takes trial and error, as there's always the chance you could push it a little too much, so keep doing this step until the ticking is once again in beat. A word of caution though, don't move the pendulum leader more than a sixteenth of an inch after it reaches the stopping point. Now that your clock's ticking is in beat, we'll put everything back, but this time in reverse. First, install the clock face, making sure that it lines up with the screws that will go in it and with where the hands go. Next, reinstall the clock screws using your screwdriver, securing the clock face in place. Then insert the hour hand first, followed by the minute hand. Reinstall the nut that secures the hands. Finally, reinsert the clock's removable head and turn the wing catches to secure it. And there you have it. That's basically how you get your colonial grandfather clock back in beat. If you enjoy this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss any new videos.